We created the perfect soldier from cheap hoodlums and nuts. We called him. I'm a powerlifter all day, every day. The first time I officially started powerlifting was when I was in the military. One of my training buddies told me that there was a base bench meet, and I told him that's not really my thing. I just like training just for me. I ended up winning, and I was hooked on lifting. Let's do 5.30. I'll stop there. At every international competition I've competed in thus far, I've broken at least one world record, and the majority of them have been my own. I feel like powerlifting assists me because I can have long hours at times, so it's important for me to have my energy up. In my day job, I act as a liaison between law enforcement and the community. You want people to have a positive perception of law enforcement. It gives me that extra energy when I'm out there interacting with people from various walks of life. My dad's from Jamaica. I mean, my father has a sixth grade education, but you'd never know it. He came to the uh, U.S. when he was 17. My dad talked to me about working hard and, you know, setting goals and doing what was necessary to accomplish them. I got a bachelor's degree from the University of Florida. I have two master's degrees, uh, one in criminology and one in criminal justice. I'm still on the fence about wanting to have a Ph.D. I was in the Guard, too. I was a medic. And when I was in the Air Force, I was an officer. I know it's one of the proudest things for him, seeing his three children being good members of society. I can see it in his face when he talks about it. He doesn't tell us. I don't feel like anyone succeeds without assistance. That's D2, she's one of my teammates. Out of 10, or a five. Let's do this. Okay, come on. Come on. I usually start having to get adjusted to equipment. I like to train once a week utilizing the suit. I like to describe it as kind of like an exoskeleton. So once you dial in the suit, you literally feel like Superwoman. That was kind of funny. I was just like, come on, I can get down. Even though my raw deadlift could probably come close to either winning or finishing second place, you don't show up to a gunfight with a knife. So I'm wearing them. The Arnold Classic is like Comic-Con for strength. For the last four years consecutively, I've won the heaviest deadlift. I actually have the highest Wilkes coefficient man or woman in the history of that particular event. The Wilkes coefficient is pound for pound, regardless of gender, weight class, or any other type of division that I'm the strongest deadlifter in the world. And wrong. I went for 589 on my last one. I got it to about here, so I know it's possible. I'm chasing 600. I want to get it. There's only been four women in history who've done it, and I want to be the fifth. I look that intense because I'm about to release the stress. When I'm coming down that bar, I sometimes tell myself the bar is like it's an interpretation of the positive and the negative. It's a way for you to let go of any aspect of negativity in your life. I'm not afraid of competition because that's what's gonna make me better. I'll keep doing it until I lose.